What's up guys? Welcome to today's video. Happy Friday. Hope you guys are having a wonderful week. So this week's uh, fitness Friday update, prep update, I wanted to, I'm just, I'm just going to talk with you guys. I'm going to do less editing of this video. Of course, I'm going to cut out little bits and pieces and when I start rambling, kind of like I'm doing now. But basically, I wanted to uh, let you guys know this week that things have changed and I have actually decided not to compete on November 4th. Now, before you go and say that I'm quitting, I'm going to be doing a photo shoot on November 4th. So I'm still technically prepping. I'm still going to be pushing like I have been. I still have my structured program, my structured prep. I'm just not going to be getting on stage. So the game is still the same, but the rules have changed a bit. And I'm gonna tell you guys why. The cold and the roses never bloom. So there are several reasons that I have decided not to compete on November 4th. Now keep in mind I'm not saying that I will not compete in the future because I definitely do want to compete for sure. Starting this prep has been awesome because it kind of relit my fire for bodybuilding and this sport in general and for getting ready to get on the stage. But within the last few weeks, I've just noticed, and this is something that I've talked to my coach about, when you're prepping for a show, this is like the extreme of the extreme when it comes to bodybuilding. A photo shoot is cool because I still have my date, I still have a goal, but I don't have to get as crazy lean as I would need to to get on stage. So I was talking with my coach, and this was last week, at the time that I was talking to her, we had seven weeks to get stage lean. Where I am now, keep in mind that I am perfectly healthy, I am perfectly happy, but in order to get stage lean to compete in a bodybuilding show, I would need to lose another 10, possibly even 15 pounds, just depending on how I'm looking. Now that goes to show you how much further and how much harder I would need to push in a really, really short time span to get ready. But where I'm at already, seven or 10 pounds with my five, less than five foot, four inch frame is a lot of weight. And to lose that in a matter of seven weeks or less, I would have to continue to push very, very extremely hard. Um, I would have to get down to a very low intake with my calories and my cardio would have to be at a crazy high level just to get that lean. Now getting ready for a stage, there are more optimal ways to do things. My second prep that I had I think was fantastic because it showed me that you don't have to go as extreme. Although getting very lean is extreme, in my prep I didn't have to get to insanely low subhuman calorie levels and I didn't have to spend hours and hours and hours doing cardio but that's because the setup that I had for that prep I started out at about 15 pounds from stage weight when this time around I was starting at about 25 pounds from stage weight um, so we kind of had a chat about that and it came down to whether it was going to be worth it to me to take this next seven weeks and really, really grind down to that level. And I know that in the next few weeks, my body fat and my intake would be reaching a point to where I just do not feel good. I've been through this process enough to know when my body starts to reach that point when it just does not feel good. And having um, a lot of family and friend plans coming up in the next several weeks, is that something that I would be able to 100% commit to and be okay with? Um, so I really had to sit down and assess if that was going to be worth it to me. To be honest, 
at this time, it's just not. I just, I don't want to get to that point. Now, what we can do, and this is what we've decided to do, is prep for this photo shoot, but I don't have to get down to less than 10% body fat for this photo shoot. I don't have to get as crazy lean to have a fantastic photo shoot. To be honest, I could do a photo shoot today and still be completely happy with the outcome. But I still wanted to shoot for that November 4th date, so I'm still prepping. It's just for a photo shoot rather than getting on a stage with a very dark tan and a sparkly bikini. So what we're gonna do is continue to push for this photo shoot to get a little bit leaner, I'm guessing about five pounds or so. And then through the holidays, more or less shoot for maintaining where I'm at, uh, just getting my calories back up to maintenance level because right now I'm in a deficit and maintaining more or less through the holiday season. And then comes springtime, I, the goal, of course, we'll see how it goes as we go along. Uh, the goal will be to compete more so in the spring, early summer. So I'm starting out at about 10 pounds from stage weight versus starting out 25 pounds from stage weight. So that's gonna save me a lot of time, a lot of stress, uh, and a lot of just beating up my body in the long run. So in regards to my health, this is going to be the best thing for me to do at this time. Another reason why I'm putting off the show for now is money. And I've talked about this time and time again, back when this was a fitness channel, competing is expensive. Now I already have the suit, I already have the shoes, but there's still the aspect of the tanning which is about another 150 to $200. I still have to pay for the entry fees. So you have to have a, a card, basically buy a membership to this organization, and then you have to pay for each category to compete. So the, the actual membership card for the Naturally Fit Federation, if I remember correctly, correctly, is between 65 to $85. And that's just to register to compete to actually compete in each category, I think it's another 80 to $90. And I would be doing two categories. So we're looking at, and that's base level. That's not even the traveling to the show and staying at the RV park um, and any other fees that come along. So we're looking at another 300 plus dollars before I can even begin to compete. To be honest with you guys, that's not something that we have right now. And after Matt's injury, we have some more bills that have come up. Um, it's just things that you don't necessarily plan for. And over the years, I've learned to roll with the punches. And this is why I don't pay for the actual competition until I'm just a few weeks out so that I know for sure uh, that we're going to be able to do it. And at this time, it wouldn't be smart of me to be dropping that much money on something so trivial. Now, later on next year, we'll see if I have the funds to compete. Um, but it's not something that I'm going to selfishly put into because I, I already spend so much time and money in the gym and, and with my health and fitness journey. Although it is part of my career, I can't justify spending that much more money right now when that could go towards several bills that we have or so many other things. So that leads me to my next point. So the money that would otherwise be going into competing on stage, I've already got my, my photo shoot taken care of. So that's something that it's $150. That's going to be super easy um, in comparison to the rest of the show. But the rest of the money, I would really like to, if, of course, this is if, if some extra funds come along, because as of right now, I couldn't even pay to compete in the first place. If some extra funds come along, I would much rather put those into things like hurricane relief um, and various GoFundMe campaigns that mean a lot to us and our care packages for the homeless. So those are three things that, honestly, I would much rather spend money on right now than competing on stage. So, all of that to tell you guys, I'm not competing at this time. I talked about it on an Instagram live stream on Sunday, but those are only available for 24 hours, so I know that not a lot of people saw that. To be honest, I've been a little nervous to say anything because I don't want people to think I'm a quitter and I don't want people to be disappointed, but at the same time, this is my journey and I'm gonna do what's best for me. And in terms of health and finances, 
this is absolutely best for me right now. I still feel awesome. And like I said, I'm still going to keep pushing. And if you guys are still interested, I'd still like to do Fitness Friday updates. Um, but that's, of course, if the demand is there for those videos. Leading up to my November 4th photo shoot, I would love to still bring you guys along because it's essentially my training and my nutrition isn't really going to change much from what I'm doing now. It's just not going to have to get as extreme, which is still more fun. I'm still getting leaner. In fact, I'll throw some screenshots up for you guys to see where I was when prep started versus where I am now. And it's a world of a difference. And what's crazy is that I, you guys know that I was healthy when I started. I'm still healthy now. It's just a different version of health for me. Um, and so hopefully this journey has been encouraging you guys to continue pushing for your own version of health. It's not going to look like what mine looks like. Prepping for a show and for, for a bodybuilding stage is for a very small percentage of the population. But what you can take away from this is pushing yourself mentally and physically to be better and do better over time. So I think that's going to be it as far as the update goes for now. Like I said, still shooting for November 4th. I'm still pushing along. It's just a slightly different goal. I hope you guys have been enjoying this journey so far. I really do enjoy putting these updates up for you guys. So of course, if you do appreciate them and you do find something positive from them, hit that thumbs up and let me know in the comments below. Uh, so I will keep doing them. And if y'all have any questions, feel free to post them below. I'm always happy to answer and chat with you guys in the comment section. So I hope y'all have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Get up, get moving, do something better for yourself today, tomorrow. <laughs> all right that's gonna be it for now love you guys and i will see y'all we will see y'all on monday